to actually read and respond to tweets about my session here at Content Jam. Finding something relevant, click show more. I'm told that I look best with a ring light, so if we can get that for next year, that'd be great. Well, let's see here. All right, I'm going. Approach correlative metrics with intense skepticism at JT Rondo, hashtag content jam. And that's, that's absolutely true. I think we're really good at recognizing patterns, but that just because it correlates with something doesn't mean it's the causal factor. Just because you see a trend doesn't mean that it actually means anything for that particular metric you're measuring. Ah, here's a really good one. I forget this so often, but if you set a routine, people will adjust. Set something, stick to it, and don't worry so much. Which is so true. Just set expectations and boundaries. Pause for air. We need a CrossFit mentality in this business. Give me a hundred more words. What I was suggesting is that in sports, there's, there are coaches who push you to do more. Hard work does correlate with success. And I know everyone wants to like work smarter and not harder, and like, uh, but it matters and it makes a difference. And what's the equivalent of like kettlebells and marketing? Like, come on, put it all out there. Like, you can do better than that. Like, work a little harder. It'll make a big difference. This one's not as much a, a tweet as it is a picture of me. <laughs> At JT Rondo, hashtag content jam. Make automation an integrated effort from email to web use to direct mail to phone calls. This is the dream. This is like the ninja marketing of integrated marketing automation uh, led by data. That was a great capture by Juliana and actually the sort of peak of what we think we can get to in marketing automation and maybe little baby steps along the way, um, ideas for baby steps along the way to get there. Hmm. I'm just reading tweets. I'm like reading them to myself. And you're like, maybe say them out loud. Emily Ember writes, uh, the only way to become right is to be wrong a lot. That was one of my main points. I think marketers are really, really afraid of, of being wrong. We're under a lot of pressure. We have to perform. Obviously, we want to end up being right. But the point here is, yeah, the only way to learn and become a better version of yourself is to fail, is to be wrong a lot, and thereby learn how to be right. We've certainly learned that, haven't we? Investigate the origin stories of interesting people, use timelines, infographics, and more. I think that sometimes a way to create unique value is to bring new information and things to the audience, and sometimes that's not about you. Sometimes you need to do a case study, or you need to do an interview, or you need to do something where you show that there's somebody that is an interesting use case for the audience, or bring something to the table that they may not have thought of. So I totally appreciate that. That was just a good one. This was not about me, but this is great. Ah, conversion copywriting technique number one, write a blog post like a long form sales page, which is great because most of us are just writing it for one or two stages of awareness. If you can move people all the way through to most aware so that they're actually in a good position to buy from you, your content will perform so much measurably better. Looks like that's it. Hashtag content jam.